So we are going to do an experiment, one that we nick the seeds and one where we soak the seeds to see if independently either of those treatments is good enough. So I have these lupin seeds and they're very tiny. Uh, and what we're going to do is, you see that it's like round, but there's like one little pointy part right there. That's where the, uh, where it was connected to the paternal tissue. We're going to trim that off with a pair of clippers. Sometimes when you're doing scarification of seeds, you would use sandpaper or you could use um, coarse rock, coarse small rocks that you grind it together with just to kind of get some mechanical damage. Sometimes you use a file. In this case, these seeds are pretty small. They're about the size of a pepper seed. And I'm going to use a pair of fingernail clippers to just cut off that little tip right there. So there we go, we just clip. And now we have a wound where water can get in, in general. So these will be nicked and soaked. The other ones will be just soaked and we will use regular tap water for that. Again, we're gonna just take and get that little piece right there, just clip that off. Oops, dropped it. See, these are very tiny seeds. It always helps to have a container sitting around that has most of your seeds in it, and I'm also doing this indoors right now because it's pretty windy outside, and um, <laughs> they'll, they're not, they don't weigh very much. They're pretty tiny seeds. There we go, we've just clipped off that end. I'm gonna do 20 of these. I have a few extras in here that I did just because sometimes you will end up clipping a little too far and then your seed might split in half. So um, I, I made sure that I had some extras, but when we plant them, we will just plant 20 seeds uh, that will be soaked and 20 that will be not soaked. We're gonna label our treatments so that we know which one is which. I'm going to label this one Nick and Soak, and then I will add some room temperature water to it. It also um, likes to be warm when it germinates, so I'm going to put these in the greenhouse. Um, not in a sunny location in there, maybe with some indirect light. But what I'll do here is so I will soak it in this container for um, about 24 hours, and then after that I will sprinkle them in some soil and just potting mix, and then put them in the greenhouse and we'll see how long it takes for them to germinate and if there's a difference between ones that have just been soaked and ones that have been nicked and soaked.